morning, everyone. It's Robert from On My Turntable. Hope you had a great morning this morning. It is Friday morning. As always, a coffee kind of morning. I just realized I should have worn maybe a different shirt. I'm blending into the sofa, but that's okay. You can see, still see my ugly mug. <laughs> um, yeah, I did a survey on my channel of which album is better. Um, Highway to Hell or Back in Black. It's a difficult choice, in my opinion, anyway. Um, the survey had 35 votes. Thank you so much. Um, and uh, Highway to Hell, as of this morning, 56% versus Black and Black at 46%. At one time, it was a tie. I can go either way. Um, one day I love this one, the other day I love the other. Um, it's, they're just it's so good, so good. Right at the peak of Highway to Hell was at the peak of Bon Scott's era for sure. Um, and then we tragically lost him um, through alcohol poisoning. Sorry about that. Um, and then uh, they were with the lead singer. For a bit, they had to find someone. They found this uh, glam rocky kind of singer from Geordie uh, called Brian Johnson. Uh, completely different vocals from Brian Johnson with Geordie. But um, the rest is history. Um, some may argue that this is the best that he put out with the band. Uh, I think there's just as good uh, later on down the road. And uh, there's just as good or better through before ACDC. I think six albums, bef or this was the sixth album that Bon Scott appeared. Um, just as good or better. So, But comparable, two amazing albums. And I love both of them. I love a lot of them. I love, they're, they're so, just so good. Uh, so Highway to Hell, sixth studio album, released in 79. The last to feature Bon Scott on vocals, as I said, he was at his peak performance-wise. He would unfortunately die February 19th, 1980 by acute alcohol poisoning. Um, just sad, sad alcohol and drugs have ruined so many artists, for sure. Imagine what the this album would be like if Bon Scott appeared on it. Uh, I don't know. I think it would be just as good, for sure. Uh, they had most of the songs written, I think, for this one. Um, and then they just had to throw some vocals on it, I think. I might be wrong on that one. But um, their seventh album, Back in Black, 1980 release, released six months after Bon Scott's death. Um, this album was recorded in seven weeks, which is remarkable. Um, and uh, quite a feat. Um, they came back with a vengeance for sure. But uh, which is better? I don't know. This is an uh, amazing album. This is a remastered version. 180 gram vinyl. Sounds so, so good. Um, there's the boys there. Every track is, is good. Uh, there's not a bad track on the album. Um starts off with Highway to Hell, the opening track, heavy riffs, big drum sounds, amazing vocals by Bon Scott, follow up blistering solos by Angus all through the album and, and of course on this track. Awesome opening track. Then you got uh, Girls Got Rhythm, great swagger in Bon's voice, awesome drumming of In Walk All Over You, Beating Around the Bush, it's a faster track, love the riffs, nothing but the best from Angus and Malcolm for sure. These guys together were just magic. Um, Angus always said that Malcolm was the better player. I never, you, you don't hear a lot of lead from Malcolm, but I, I, I would assume that he's obviously correct on that one. Um, Beating around the bush, it's a faster track. Love the riffs. Uh, Shot down in flames, great track again. If you want blood, you got it. Top-notch vocals by Bon Scott. 
and the closer night prowler it's a slow gritty and dirty track great way to end the album fantastic fantastic stuff um commercial success the band's playing at their best and bon scott sang his heart out um awesome album i love it i love it love it love it back in black opens with the haunt of those haunting bells of hell's bells and we get to hear brian's vocals for this uh for the first time and the production and um the band that sounds so good shoot to thrill high energy the band firing all on all cylinders what do you do for money honey johnson is belting out this track uh, giving the dog a bone great rhythm guitar by malcolm and uh, bass by cliff williams and drumming by phil rudd the title track back in black the riffs are hard and heavy it's a classic classic track you shook me all night long the blending of johnson's vocals and the guitars of the young brothers make this another classic rock track um, have a drink on me uh, it's a swaggery kind of track and the bluesy shake a leg and then one of my favorites, Rock and Rolling, No Noise Pollution. Um, I love hearing the cigar, the cigarette drag from Johnson and the scratchy throat as he takes a breath in. And then his vocals uh, stretch to the limit as he belts out the track. Um, possibly the best under Brian Johnson. I'm not sure. But um, I don't know which is better. I give... Uh, I give this one a um, I give this one a 4.5 out of five. Um, it's awesome, darn near perfect, for sure, darn near perfect. Um, I give a slight edge to this one. I'm gonna do 4.8 out of five, just because. The vocals are amazing. The production is next level. The playing is next level. They put their heart and soul into this album to say, yeah, we're back. Uh, we miss you, Bond, but we're back with a vengeance. And we got this cool new lead singer, and uh, we're going to just be the best in the world. And that's what I feel this album says as much as I love this album. But tomorrow, this could be number one. This could be number two. You just never know. Let me know what you think about uh, these two albums and what you think is the best album, in your opinion, in the comments below. Um, quickly, I just want to share some of the other uh, albums that I have, mostly on CD and vinyl, but mostly on CD as far as the rest of them. Uh, I've got uh, High Voltage. This is their first international album. Uh, it came out in Australia. But this is a uh, remastered version of the album. Um, 1976, reissued in 2003. Uh, Mark Evans is on bass on this one. It's a long way to the top and high voltage of the singles off this album. Then you get Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap. Um, the third album, 1976 release. Mark Evans still on vocals. Uh, you got Jailbreak and the title track as the uh, singles off of this one. I love this album. It's so good. Um, Let There Be Rock. This is uh, 50th anniversary edition of this amazing album. Um, kept the hype sticker there. It's, uh, it's on colored vinyl. Got a nice insert there, and then beautiful gold swirly vinyl. Um, really good. <laughs> I do like this one. Uh, as I said, the Bon Scott era, pretty remarkable stuff. Um, let there be rock is uh 1977 release originally again this is the 50th anniversary edition fourth by the band and the last to feature mark evans on bass you got dog eat dog a whole lot of rosie 
and the title track also problem child just some of the singles off the album um, I also have Highway to Hell on CD to save the vinyl it sounds really good on CD so I've shown you that one um, I've also shown you obviously Back in Black um, I also have 1981's for those about to rock we salute you that classic canon sound I need a new case for this one I'd love to get a, a vinyl version of this album as well uh, first number one album in the States uh, let's get it up in the title track of the singles off of this one then you have uh, Fly in the Wall uh, Chris Profi just showed this one a couple of days ago as a uh, dislike album by some of the fans but I really like this one as well uh, the 10th album 2003 release you got Danger Sink the Pink some great singles off of this one Simon Wright on drums with Cliff Williams on bass on this one here um, then you have The Razor's Edge 12th studio album 1990 release I recorded in Vancouver and produced by Bruce Fairburn you got Thunderstruck and uh, Money Talks uh, which are two awesome tracks off the album you've got um, Black Ice 15th album 2008 release uh, will be the last to feature Malcolm Young unfortunately he contracted uh, dementia uh, and unfortunately would die three years after the release of this album uh, rock and roll train and money made are just a couple of singles off the album and finally their latest power up okay the first album not to feature um, Malcolm Young and uh, also features Stevie Young, which I think is the cousin uh, of the Young Brothers on rhythm guitar. You got Shot in the Dark, uh, which is Spell. Uh, just a couple of singles off of this one. This is a really good album as well. Um, but uh, that's my look at ACDC and Highway to Hell versus Back in Black, um, plus the albums I have from this great classic band. So let me know in the comments below what you think, what you think is the best album. What do you think of ACDC overall? I love you all, guys. Have yourself a great rest of the day, and talk to you again soon. Bye now.